Uh, oh, I'm curious how Metaton's gonna go. <gasps> this is gonna be interesting. And how Alphys is gonna go. Alphys? Oh, no, Metaton's Whoa, there. Oh, he's already there. Oh, there you are. You little, little creature, creature. You make quite a name for yourself. Are we gonna voice him? Because I, I had a voice for him. Let me hear it. You ugly little creature. You made quite a name for yourself. That's Such infamy. To... I'm impressed. Oh, yes. Oh, you're... yes. If you're waiting for Alfred, she's not here. Alphys. Whatever. While you were busy doing your <clears throat> thing, she was running around evacuating people no, to safety. Guys, hmm? It sounds too similar to like what Alphys would sound like and what Flower Al sounds Alphys like. Alphys would be a trailer. I, she sounds like a nerd. No. Maybe Flower. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, true. He's more oh, yeah, than a there was a fucking, show host. There was a fucking that sound clip. Why am I not using that? She was running around evacuating oh people to safety. Now they're in a place where you'll never get to them. Finally. Deciding not to fight you. My, my, she really is the only smart one, isn't she? Oh, Rick how sassy! Circuit boards out. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? Well, T-O-O-B-A-D. This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Toodles! Wow, he actually ran. That's me. Regardless, I'm gonna kill this guy's boyfriend. Oh god, you have to hit it four times. Oh god! Shit! Dude, I never told him. What? He never told him. Oh no! I forgot! Yeah, that detail. Don't know what to do. Alright, how about die? Does that work? Holy crap, this pan's awesome! Also, I got a frying pan. Sweet! You're Rapunzel now! Kind of. You're Rapunzel, shut up. Well, uh, could you say that again? Oh my god, you're Flynn and Rapunzel's duck kid. I don't think that's. How's the when mom's away song go? Bum ba da 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 they said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. Thank you! Thank you! Hate spiders? Oh, is this Muppet boss gonna be yeah, tough? I hope. We want me to find out. You didn't support the bake sale. Here you go, have some popcorn for you. Well, either, even if I did, they'd probably be like, No, you fucking are killing everybody! I would oh, check... Who's Cyan? I'll check the rest of the enemies from now, Cyan but... Cyan and you know, Cyan come in? I don't know, but I like him. Him, her, whatever. Them. All right, I'll do a check on this one. Muppet's my favorite. Let's have a tea posse. She invites you to a parlor. Excuse yourself. In my opinion, she's the hardest boss. I hated her the most. Who, Muppet? Well, then again, you didn't have your way out in pacifist mode. What? I killed her in one hit. Wow! Are you serious? Yeah. What the hell? What the hell? Muffet! Come on! No, spider! Muffet! Muffet, Muffet! Oh. No! Oh my god! No! 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 no, no, no. Oh my god, no! Muffet was my favorite! I thought Muffet was okay. Ryan, what the fuck did you do? I won. Alright, let's face Metatan. Like, terminate. Hello. My, it's my. Time, time. So you finally arrived. After the first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without any without an audience. And Your besides, audience is all dead, dude. there's some people I want to protect. Wow, well, really? <laughs> Eager as always, eh? But don't touch that dial. There's something you haven't accounted for. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. Yep. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more... Mm, How did he become a star? ...photogenic body. Who knows? However, these oh, original functions have never been fully removed. Come any closer and I'll be forced to show you my true Do form. It. I went closer. Yeah. Fine then. Ready? It's showtime. We're going to get no yeah? Oh yeah. Whoa. It's Mega Man. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome! This is gonna be- He looks like Dark- No, what's the clown thing with the hat the in Yu-Gi-Oh? That Kaida has, that's like... 
Doesn't matter now! What? <laughs> Guess you don't want to join my fan club? Oh my god. Well. I literally- What the fuck? I, why was Undyne more challenging than this, this idiot? I'm sorry, Undyne, or, or Metaton, you're not an idiot, but why? Why? ZZ. Why? Shut up. Seems like gardening tools. Take one, stab someone, shake them! It's, it's a great reading chair, but doesn't seem like anyone uses it. Whoa! What? You think what I'm thinking? Kill him? Remember when we used to play here? Hehehe. <laughs> Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. Oh, so he's taking over the thing. Yeah, he's trying to. Took the keys. I've read this already. Yo, flower. No chocolate. Damn, I want chocolate. Stuff that. Trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. I read this already. <clears throat> Chair. I wonder what it says about this flat. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had turned to a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me, I called out. But nobody. Okay. Okay. That's how it's gonna be. I realize I've read none of this dialogue. Yes. You and your voice acting, sir. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained to him what had happened. Then he held me, cutie pie. He held me with his tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything is going to be all right. He was so emotional. But for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. I mean, look at <gasps> go in the mirror. It's me, Thank you. cutie pie. Cutie pie. I can't believe I just said that. King size bed. Go in your room. Nothing useful. Go. Still has that sweater. Go in that room. In your room. Okay, cool. Let's go in my room. Let's check out what's in my room. Let's just see what's in my room. Oh yeah, give me that locket. This one has a knife. Yep, got the real knife. Do it. I'm just getting used to this now. Oh right where- God. Oh, dude, when I clicked it, it said right where it belongs, lord. Yeah. About time. Oh, God, those were all the shoes. What shoes? My bed. His bed. Our clothes. You and your brother. Da, da. My drawing. Of your brother. Dusty toys. Rude. <laughs> all right. I unlocked the chain. The date I came here. That's what the circle thing was. I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks of that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something, but it came too much for me. I ran away from home. A little late. Eventually I reached the ruins. Inside I found her, Cutie Pie. Thought of all people, she could make me feel whole again. Wait, she? She failed. I guess that's she? just the pronoun. It's the pronoun. Just let no, but they usually say they. I don't know. No, they've always said they. I don't know. <laughs> I realized those two were useless. I became desperate. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Cutie Pie, you might not believe this. But I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not a world without you, so I decided to follow in your footsteps. I erased myself from existence, and you know what? I succeeded. So basically, he followed in my character's footsteps, and that's what led him to kill everybody. In the first one, the jet pacifist? Uh huh. But I love this mortal the coil. Fuck? I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you. Something primal started to burn in me. No, I thought, I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden, back at my safe point. This is getting weird. Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any okay. point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, cutie pie? I was amazed too. Lord. 
This is morbid. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with every one. That's what we did. Are we flowy? I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing for a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Oh my god. Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. Are we flowy? Is that what happened? I'm looking at the flower in the mirror. It all started because I was curious. Curious about what would happen if I killed them. Oh, okay. I don't like this. I told myself, I'm just doing this because I have to know what happened. Um, Why are we doing the genocide run? We were curious. What an excuse. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. These were better than the sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. Wow. Chat! <laughs> I'm kidding. This is, this is fucking me up. Um, I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? Oh, it's talking about me. It's calling me pathetic. He has a, yeah, that's also the people who are watching Let's Players, too. Think Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, cutie pie. I've done everything this world has to offer. For every book, I've burned every book. I've won every game, I've lost every game. <clears throat> I've appeased everyone, I've you. killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I could never predict you, cutie pie. It sounds like you're flirting with me. Yup. <laughs> flirting with death. Hey, when I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you and then steal your soul. I failed. When I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Cutie Pie, your determination. So now it's even greater than mine. This is fucking me up. What the fuck is this game? I just have one question for you, Cutie Pie. How'd you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left. And decided to give you a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. What? But, but why then? What made you wake up? What? What the fuck? What is this game? If you hear me calling you, what the fuck is going on? I'm so lost. Did we die and come back to life it down there? Doesn't here? matter now. I'm so tired of this cutie pie. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower, cutie pie. There's one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone, and we'll see what humanity is really like. That despite it all. The world is still kill or be killed. This is what me up. Then, well, I had been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you change my mind, keep I think if you're around, just living in the service world doesn't seem so bad. You'll be. Pass the side right away, dude. We don't even need to leave to get them this time. The king of six of them walked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them. He just won't. Cutie Pie, I know he'll do it for you. Why am I telling you all this? Cutie Pie, I've said it before. We're gonna slice it in half. Even after all this time, you're still the only one who understands me. We're gonna slice it in half, aren't we? You won't give him any worthless pity. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... that's why... Huh? What? Huh. Huh. What's this feeling? I can't fight this feeling anymore. I forgot <laughs> what I started <laughs> fighting for. Sorry, I'm responding to a text message real quick. Yeah, no, I see who it is. Why am I shaking? Hey, cutie pie, no, no hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, what are you doing? Back off. Slice! Um, uh-oh. Slice! I I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. Y you should go back. This place is fine the way it is. Stop making that creepy face. This isn't funny. You've got a sick sense of humor. Uh... 
I have to leave forever now? I'm sorry. Bye, everyone. Brian, Mel. Wait, 221. What's going on? Uh, I don't think it's for. Uh, she's in this, I think. I hope not. Please don't leave forever. Oh, shit. You know what time it is? Time to get wrecked! Have fun with this, Ryan! Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You're dead. You know that? Yeah. You're gonna have a bad time now, as everyone else is saying. Here we go. Ryan, have you seen this battle? I've seen bits and pieces. Mm, busy, huh? So, got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? That everybody can be a good person if they just try? <laughs> Alright, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Because you take another step forward, you are really not going to like what happens next. Well, sorry, old lady. This is why I never make promises. Here we fucking go. Have fun, Ryan. It's a beautiful day outside. You're gonna get killed. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you... Should die. Should be burning in hell. Oh, shit. Huh. I always wonder why people never use their strongest attack first. <laughs>